Good morning, students. Myself, Janice Shah, Assistant Professor at LJ Institute of Engineering and Technology. In our previous lecture, we studied about DQ, like what is double ended Q, then the types of DQ, and the four algorithms applied on DQ. The first one is insertion at rear end and insertion and front end. Okay. Next, two algorithms are deletion at rear end and deletion at front end. As we all know that in DQ, insertion and deletion occurs from the both end, front end as well as rear end. So already we have seen that how can we insert a data element in rear end? Because data element insertion in rear end, it is same as simple Q insertion but insertion at front end it's a little bit different so i am just showing you my last video slide see as we have know that insertion at front end we need to decrement our front pointer okay here we need to i'm just decrementing my front pointer in setting 20 again decrement in front pointer in setting 10. now can i decrement front pointer no got it because front pointer is already at first position. Okay, so I, I do not allow to decrement front pointer. Okay, because my queue is already full. For which operation? For insertion, sir. No, wait, not insertion. Insertion at front end, for that operation, my queue is full. Got it? For insertion and front end, my queue is full. But if anyone, anybody from you, want to insert data at the rear end can can he add it or can he add the data yes definitely you can add the data at rear end okay but you cannot add data from front end so let's begin our today's topic deletion in dq so deletion at front end usually in simple queue we know that deletion occurs at the front end okay because front end is only for the deletion purpose okay so that's why it is the same as simple q deletion algorithm got it so what is the first step can anybody tell me or can anyone guesses or remember you that what is the first step of simple q deletion algorithm okay students in each and every algorithm or each and every deletion algorithm we all know that first we need to check under flow condition okay underflow condition it means whether the data structure has element or not listen it carefully i am just saying data structure not q not stack nothing because underflow condition is a generalized term okay in general way i can say that if if my data structure has enough element to delete it means it is not underflow but here my queue is underflow it means there are no elements in the queue that's why i am not able to delete anything from the queue okay so the let's begin with the first thing that whether my queue is empty or not or queue is underflow or not and though this is a simple queue deletion algorithm similar like simple queue deletion algorithm delete at front end in this in this First, we need to check whether my front pointer pointing to zero or not. Why it is zero? Because, because according to algorithm, our array index starts from one. So if, if anyhow my front pointer position pointing to zero, that means my queue is empty. This is the first step. First, I'm just writing the function. Sir, why are you writing function? If this question coming in your mind, then just remember my previous lectures sessions that I told you if any algorithm return something at the time you need to write function. Okay, then write algorithm name, then write the parameters that you need to pass in the algorithm. That it is clear. Okay, so what I need, I'm just here to delete something from the queue. That's why I need only three parameters. Q represents my Q. F is for the front pointer. R is for the rear pointer. And the name of the algorithm is delete at front end. Okay. Make sure the name of the algorithm should be meaningful. Okay. 
See, the first condition is underflow. What is the first condition for the underflow? Whether my front pointer is pointing to zero or not. So here it is. If my front pointer at zero, then write underflow and return zero. See, this is the figure of the cube. Okay. Now going forward to the next step, delete the element. How to delete an element? Just assign. Listen, just assign your q of f to y. Okay, here y is just an element, nothing else. Okay, so I am just assigning my front pointer positioned element to the y, and then, then what do you need to check whether my q is empty or not? Because it might be possible that deleting something or after assigning the f value to the y, it might be possible your front and rear both pointing to the same position, such like this. Okay, if your front and rear both point to the same position, that means in Q you have only one element and you have already removed it. If you have already removed it, that means my Q becomes empty. So when Q becomes empty in deletion, if, if my front and rear both pointer pointing to the same position, is that clear? Such at that time, front and rear should move to the zero. If front and rear, both are at the same position, then move them to zero and else increment front pointer. Okay, got it. Last step is written y. Just written is a deleted element. So moving forward to the next step, the next algorithm is deletion at front end. See, usually in simple queue, this is not possible to delete your element at the front end. But though it is a double ended queue, you can easily do it at the front rear end. This is the advantage of queue. Okay, see, first is, first I need to check function delete at rear end, the parameters are there. First I need to check under flow. Now just compare the recent algorithm that we studied before few minutes and right now algorithm. Okay, what's the difference between them? What is the difference between them? That in my previous algorithm, I'm just writing the under flow condition as f is equal to zero. But right now in this algorithm, I am writing r is equal to zero than underflow. Why sir it is r? You are not considering f. Students, you can also consider f for the condition, but here I am just write the algorithm for deletion at rear end. Though it is a deletion at rear end, I just focus on rear end only. I am just focusing my rear pointer only or the position of rear pointer only. Okay. If somehow you in exam you write f is equal to zero, so is that wrong? No, it's not wrong. It's not wrong logically, it's never wrong, but ethically it's wrong because we are, we are just considering rear pointer. Fine. So the condition should be if my rear pointer is equal to zero, then write underflow and return zero. Step number two. See, in previous algorithm, we are just assigning something to the y. Same like that. If you are assigning, assign your q of r to y then see this is the position this is my front pointer this is my rear pointer okay i'm just assigning 42 y okay then i need to decrement my rear pointer see in rear pointer in deletion algorithm you just need to decrement the position of rear pointer okay so the next is if, if after assigning the value if f and r both point to the same position then both move towards the zero else else just decrement rear pointer make sure here we are using rear and that's why it's decrement rear pointer is that clear okay so let's begin and last step sorry last step is remaining last step is re return y okay see the difference between the deletion at front and the rear end okay here i am just returning returning my y element after decrementing rear end. So let's see the example, how it occurs, deletion at rear end. Let's get ready. So first is, this is my queue. I'm just assuming this is my queue and I'm just following the algorithm rules and standards of the Tremblay and Sorensen. Sorensen, I'm just considering that my array index starts from one. Okay, now let's begin. Here, this is my queue. Okay, my front pointer is here, my rear pointer is here. Okay, front pointer position is at two, rear pointer is position at four. Now I am just want to delete something from the queue. If I am deleting, if I am deleting, so you need to ask me, sir, from which end you want to delete? Okay, 
and my suggestion is i want to delete from the rear end okay if i want to delete from the rear end first i need to check whether my rear pointer is pointing to zero or not according to the algorithm see here my rear pointer is pointing to four that means it is not at zero so my q is under flow no condition goes wrong fine okay now move forward to the next step what is my next step just assigning 40 my deleted element 40 to the y i am just assigning 40 to the y suppose okay assume i am assigning 40 to the y what is the next step if the front and rear both are pointed to the same position okay is that so front and rear pointing to the same position no front at, at 2 and rear is at 4 okay that means front and rear are not at the same position so i just need to decrement my rear end so in the deletion i'm decrementing my rear end and returning got it same thing will be happen again i am decrementing my rear end and returning 30 and now last step i will explain properly that here front and rear both are pointing to the same position again again students let's come up with the algorithm steps step number one that is if my rear pointer is at zero no condition goes wrong step number two what you need to do you just need to complete you just need to complete your second number step and the step is check the whether the condition is uh whether your just assigning the 20 to the y okay so here i am just assigning my 20 to y okay then check whether the front and rear both are pointed to the same position or not see here it might be possible that my front and rear pointer may must may be pointing to the same position then what i need to do what i need to do i just need to set okay set both front and rear to zero again what i need to do students i just need to do set both front and rear at the zero position okay Though both a front and rear pointer position at zero, that means my queue is empty. Because after removing 10, 20, there is no such element remaining in the queue. So what I need to do, I just removing 20 from the queue and set both front and rear to zero. See, my queue is becoming empty. And that's why at the last thing, my front and rear pointing to zero. Okay. So in this lecture, we studied about that how can we delete how can we delete elements in dq students i need to explain something that in double ended queue as we have something like to insert something and to deleting something from the queue from the both side okay so in exam you will not ask to perform each and every operation simultaneously okay if i am if i am examiner i will not ask you to that insert at front end 10 okay you are insert 20 insert 20 insert 30 insert 40 no such type of questions can be asked for simple queue or circular queue because there is no specification of rear and front end but but if you have asked for the deletion or insertion at front end at rear end that means that queue must be dq because in simple queue and circular queue, there are no such type of specification of front and rear end. Okay, so in this lecture, we know how can we delete something from the double-ended queue and how can we insert something in double-ended queue. In our next lecture, we will see the example. Then we'll talk about the priority queue, how the priority queue works, and then we'll see applications of queue. Okay, till that. Please, if you have any doubt, then feel free to ask me. Okay. And till, till my next lecture, please keep smiling and keep learning. Thank you so much.